everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBS in Denver. Time for another edition of Spencer's Study, and we are pleased to be joined by the new offensive coordinator at Johns Hopkins University, John Grant Jr. Uh, that is one of many titles that you hold, of course, across <laughs> the world. Yeah. For that. Uh, John, first of all, congratulations on the move. Uh, what was behind this? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, kind of a unique story. I, I've known Coach Peter Millman, who just got the job from Cornell. I've known him for a while. He, uh, we won a championship together for the Rattlers back in 2008. Um, and we've just stayed in, in, in touch over the years. And, you know, in my previous job before college, trying to send kids to him at Cornell. And, um, you know, and then the last couple of years when I was with Air Force, we'd be at some tournaments. And we just, I, he loves the game. He's a student of the game. He's always trying to get better. And we've, we've spent time on the phone and in person, just like with salt shakers on tables and just talking lacrosse. And I literally reached out to him to talk about a couple Cornell kids for the upcoming MLL draft for the outlaws. And we just talked for, I think it was like three hours and he's got a, a newborn and, you know, both families were like, what's going on. And, and, you know, a couple of days later, he kind of texted and said, would you be interested in, in talking a little more about the job here? And caught me completely off guard. Um, I said, sure, I'd like to chat. And then he reached out to, you know, my boss at Air Force and asked for permission to make it more of a formal, not just two buddies talking lacrosse and bang, bang, it happened quick. It's a dream come true for me. I mean, growing up in Canada, I knew of like three schools. I knew Syracuse because the Gates. I knew Johns Hopkins because of the, the late David Huntley, who was a friend of my father's. And I knew of Cornell because another friend of my father's who played on Team Canada um so i mean what a historic program and and two guys that i respect immensely on the coaching staff and some of the best lacrosse players in the country so you know i want to get going <laughs> you know obviously in this time we can i'm going to work from here but looks like we have a good plan as a family to to make this transition happen and i'm i'm thrilled do you have aspirations of one day being a head coach in college it's not a goal it's like i'm making steps in my my career to do that I think I think if I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing getting better as an assistant and you know and even talking to coach Millman he's like you know if you don't have the aspirations for that down the road there may be something wrong I mean but I I'm learning so much about this I mean I've only been coaching collegiately for a couple of years but I mean I've coached in the world games with team Canada I've coached a championship and professional I mean I even coached at Delaware in my grad assistant year but there's a lot to it. And, you know, I'm, I'm finding my way. What I was doing as a player was always trying to get better and trying to learn different facets and become a better leader. And every year it was like, what am I going to tackle to become better? And coaching is the same thing. I mean, I went from Valor to Air Force now to the most historic program in the country. Um, and I'm, I'm going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on doing everything I can to get to know these kids that are there now and the recruits. And, and just improve, improve, improve. And, and if that comes down the road, but I have no, no plan on going anywhere. I mean, <laughs> this is a destination that, it, you know, and I'm not taking it for granted. Well, the cross world's throw up for you, and uh, so apparently is my Pooch Winnie up here. <laughs> um, you've, been, you've been coaching for a while, as, as you mentioned, uh, relatively new to the college game, though. So what's different about coaching the college game opposed to what you were doing? Well, see, the, the difference in – the what may scare some people off but what I love about it is the amount of time you get to coach and the amount of time you get to game plan the amount of time you get to recruit the amount of time you get to spend time getting to mentor your kids and like go to work in the morning and talk across all day with your your coaching staff and have kids come in and literally it's 24 hours a day seven days a week lacrosse and <laughs> to say I was born into this I I was I mean I would say 10 years ago, did I think my journey would lead me to NCAA coaching? I'd say probably not. I would have assumed, you know, play out my mammoth career, then coach an NLL team. But I'm just fascinated and obsessed with the field game. I'm less experienced at the outdoor game. So the journey and the learning part, I, I just love learning new things. And I'm constantly learning new things in field and, you know, and lifetime spent inside in box. I'm sure I got learning to do there, but it's just different. And, I'm just, I'm, as you can tell, I'm a little long-winded and I'm extremely excited about it. 
Well, hey, Junior, man, we appreciate the time so much. Thank you so much for the time and uh, good luck in your next endeavor. I know everybody here in Denver is going to be paying attention. I appreciate it. Definitely going to miss Denver. I love this place and you guys and everyone here does an amazing job and to be in sports in Denver is a, is an honor and I'm going to miss that part.